Mm. It's the girl in the overalls again. I wonder if she washes them. Guys, I swear I wash these. If I didn't, they would be ripe. <laughs> ripe. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Miley. If you are new here, I do a new DIY video every single week. So do what you want with that information. So guys, I don't know if you can tell or if you're following along or if you care, but it's clean out here. Okay, you probably can't tell because there's just a wall behind me, but it is clean out here. Over the weekend, I cleared everything out of this space. She's going on a magic carpet ride. And I got to work power washing the deck and the walls. because one of the first things I need to do this week is paint the deck and paint the walls of the screened in patio. Mmm, fun. I just love painting so much. And then I have some chairs that I've had for about a year and a half and I like them, but the cushion covers on them got super faded by the sun. So I have to make some more cushion covers. But after I get done with that, I swear I have something new that I have never done. And that is right up over here. In this space, there's this ledge thing. And at first I didn't know what it was, but I've come to the conclusion that I think this was supposed to be some kind of bar top. And I really like that idea. I just don't think it was executed the best. So I'm gonna be tearing down this ledge and putting up a new ledge and kind of expanding upon this idea of having a fun little bar top area in this space. Let the margaritas start flowing. I had too much coffee this morning. Um, so that is the three big projects I have this week. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna get started painting, but right now I need to get this tree stump out of here. It's really heavy and I can't. <laughs> oh gosh. You know what? We're just gonna move this like this. So usually when picking out paint, like a lot of people, I get a sample. But in this space, I wanted the walls to be a lighter tan, and I really thought any lighter tan would work. So I picked out a color and just went and got a gallon. Going against everything I know to do, I always get a sample, even if I know for sure this is the color I wanted. So as I was painting, I did start to question whether this was too too light, but I kept going, hoping as the paint dried, it would get a little bit darker. The sun is setting and I thought I was going to be a lot further along with the painting process, but I'm not. I thought I was going to be able to get to the floors today. So I just have a sample of the color that I want to use on the floor um, or I think that I want to use. So I'm going to just do a test of that and if I like it, I'm going to go get a gallon of it tomorrow or a few gallons and yeah and that'll end day one of week two. Okay, I like, I like that. That's just, it's just great, Gr great. <laughs> I'm, at least I make myself laugh. That's all we can ask for in life. Let's get a gallon of it tomorrow. It's day two. I got paint. 
And I got a little rolly doodad thing so I can live out my Mary Poppins dance break dream life. Never had a ride on the rooftop step in time. And now I'm gonna get started painting. Hopefully it doesn't take so long. Painted my cat into a corner. She can't get up right now. I painted you into a uh, corner, so see you in a few hours. So the deck is painted and I'm going to spend the rest of the day making cushion covers and I'm just going to quickly speed through this because I know I made cushion covers last week and spoilers I have to make cushion covers next week. So the fabric I am using for these cushion covers I got more of that same faux leather that I used to make my headboard. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day to finish off day two of week two. Y'all know I love a good before and after, and this little platter was two bucks at Home Goods. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you that, but I was so excited. It's missing the little knob, so I have to replace that, but the knobs that are on there make it perfect for it to lock onto the arms. And if these pillows look familiar, I used the rest of the rug from my ottoman last week to make them, finishing off this little mini makeover. It's day three. As you guys know by now, I went against my better judgment and didn't get a sample of the paint color that I put on these walls. Now I'm really questioning whether this was the right color or if it's too light. So I went and got some samples um, of some darker colors. If I like one of these, I won't be painting today, but I probably will paint again next week. Fun, all because I just didn't get a sample. What did we learn today? Get samples before you paint. So before I get to the bar top, I'm gonna test out these samples and I would love to get your guys' input. Should I, one, leave this alone? Should I just like be like, no girl, it's good, it looks fine, don't do that to yourself. Or is it like, no, go with one of these colors. I'm gonna get started testing these samples. And for reference, if this helps with your decision making of what I should do, I got these white curtains and there will be curtains around this whole patio. So once I finish painting, I'll show you guys that. Okay, so this bar top is gonna be really easy. All I have to do is, well, one, clear this off, take this down, and then I got four of these L-shaped brackets, and I got a panel board. Um, it's a smaller version of the board I used for my husband's desk, and yeah, I'm gonna hang it up and stain it. And that's it for the bar top. I have more to do with the stools, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, 
So as you can see, the bar top is up. It took me maybe like 20 minutes or so to put up and I have to see if I can find some paint to touch up that area. So now I have these bar stools. Oh, the first thing I am going to do to these stools is give them a nice cushion top because they're kind of hard and a little uncomfortable. And I'm going to be using this blanket, the blue, the blue ombre part for the fabric because apparently I am into unconventional items for upholstery fabric. So once I get the cushion covers on, I'm gonna stop and kind of determine what I'm gonna do to the legs after that's done. Let's go. What's holding you in, buddy? Do I just need to loosen it? Are there some nails or something? These little brad nails i think there's little brad nails holding i think i'm gonna need to pry this thing off that I've opened them up and I see what I have to work with. This is all fake wood. So I can't sand it down and stain it to match the bar top. So I'm gonna paint them navy blue with some navy blue paint that I have left over from previous projects. And if you've seen any previous videos, at this point, two layers of primer, two layers of paint, enamel spray, let's get it. sunset last night and I was tired so I let this sit overnight and now I just have to do two more coats of paint to finish off these stools and this week let's get it it guys I popped the tops back on and screwed them down and I'm not sure if this is a good sign but I think my cat's trying to order a drink already I still have a lot to do in the space but I'm slowly but surely getting there with every DIY I do if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next week bye guys <laughs>